What on earth is going on with Meta, also known as Facebook? The share price is dropping like a stone. This video was too important to get out as soon as possible. So there's no presentation today. And if the sound is a bit echoing or soft, sorry for that. But let us know what you think of this format. Maybe we can do more of it. Uh, but this was very important to get out to you as soon as possible. So let's look at Meta. They're, they beat on revenues, actually, but they missed on both earnings per share and monthly active users. The revenue was still growing at around 20% year on year, which is still good for if you look at the size of the company. But the monthly active users and the user growth was a key point as well. So the company said that cost inflation and supply chain issues also dis disrupted and had an impact on their advertisers. So people advertising on Facebook or Instagram or one of their channels. And there, there's a few reasons it's dropping like a stone. So first of all, the most on the EPS, uh, the slow user growth. And the reason for the slow user growth is obviously competition is heating up. So you've got competition coming from YouTube. You've got competition coming from TikTok, which was a main competitor for them and their, uh, the revenues. And then you've also got the Apple privacy changes and the daily active users only growing 5% year on year. So even though there is growth, it's very, very small. But remember, there are only a certain amount of people that's, that's alive, you know, and they already have almost half of the population of the world. So some point in the future, growth is going to stop and it's, we're already seeing the, the growth that is declining now. And the reason for this is most people are already using the platforms. So now they have to focus on monetizing the current users, the people that's already using WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, all their different services. They now have to focus on monetizing that. So we all know that they are working on the metaverse. And this is also affecting the financials because they, are, they lost about $10 billion at the past year focusing on the metaverse and reality labs. So, you know, from the beginning when they announced a new vision with metaverse, we all knew that, look, they're going to invest heavily, heavily into this and investing money that will only be seen in a few years, sometimes scare investors and investors now realize that, look, this is this vision is years away. I mean, the metaverse is still far away. And then you've got the, the, you, the concern of will they be able to monetize the metaverse? And these are all questions that investors have to answer. But let's look at the positive side. So. In the year, they repurchased shares of uh, 19 billion and also 44 billion of their Class A common stock. So when a company buys shares back, when they repurchase shares, it shows confidence that they have in their own share price. Because why would you buy something if you don't have confidence that it will be higher in a year or three years or five years from now? So they are repurchasing shares. And they will also now start focusing on monetizing their reels, which is their TikTok competitor. So if they manage to monetize reels, you know, then they could grab really a, a big market share from TikTok as well. And then they also have a lot of unmonetized businesses like WhatsApp. WhatsApp isn't really making money, but they've got billions of users and they've got other businesses as well that is unmonetized. If you look at how big the distribution and the platform and the users are so they can still monetize that if they need to and they will also help the revenues grow and then also the positive slash negative is they still have to invest heavily heavily into the metaverse as we've seen they've already invested billions of dollars and the metaverse on the negative side is still uncertain and it's still uncertain of how long it will be on the positive side is they have a cash generating business, which is the ad business from Instagram and Facebook, which they can now invest heavily into the metaverse where other companies have to raise money from elsewhere and find different methods to raise money to develop the metaverse. So on the negative side again is YouTube and TikTok, the competition is real. Although I've, I've only used TikTok for like a few days because I wasn't uh, really a fan of it, but there's a lot of people using TikTok and they will continue to use TikTok. So there's competition from that. And Facebook is now in the mature stage. Like I said, they reached so many users from across the years that they now need to focus on the monetization of it rather than just focusing on user growth. And that's also something investors should look at. And now it's all about monetization. If they fail to monetize the current platform, it will hurt the financials 
really badly because people will also use other platforms. Advertisers will use other platforms to advertise on. So if they can't monetize the current following, maybe they should do it with, you know, creating some type of where influencers can leverage uh, their tools to monetize their followings or something like that. But they need to monetize their current platform. Otherwise, the financials will hurt negatively, really bad. And if they execute on that, well, then we'll see amazing revenues and amazing results, especially with the metaverse coming as well. So getting to my, uh, what, what I'm doing with metaverse. So I own metaverse shares, sorry, meta shares, which is Facebook, uh, which is a play on the metaverse, but I actually bought more in the dip after the 24, 25% uh, crash. You can call it a crash if you want to. Um, because, you know, I still believe in their abilities to execute. If you look at what Facebook's done time and time and time after again, and here and then they have a, a bad quarter and then they just always execute after that and the share price runs, the financials look much better. So if you invest in Meta, there's a few things you have to consider. First of all, it's not a short term investment. Uh, if you want to trade it, good luck. But you have to look at it for the long term. You have to believe, first of all, in their abilities to execute on the metaverse. You'll have to believe in their abilities to monetize their current followings. You'll have to believe that, you know, all the different plays that they have will be successful. So it's overall in their ability to execute. Uh, and then you've also got these various little issues like the App Store, the, the Apple privacy issues and the competitors. But if you believe in their ability to execute, it is a long term investment. I'm in it for the long run. That's why dollar cost uh, average in Facebook, especially after a share price fall like this. There is another company that I'm really betting on heavily for the metaverse, uh, which we'll cover next week. And there's also a few other high stocks. If you go check out that video that we posted previously, uh, let us know what you think of Meta, of the results and what you are doing. Personally, I bought more shares. This was a massive dip. They are on a PE ratio of 17 now. So it, it's not overvalued, especially if you look at the bigger sector. We had Alphabet, you know, blowing the results out and uh, amazing results. We had uh, Amazon showing amazing results. Uh, and then we had something like PayPal who also had bad results. So share prices get punished if they disappoint. Even though they, Facebook beat on revenues, they missed on EPS plus user growth. User growth will probably not continue to be fast or above expectations but now it's all about focusing on monetizing the current platform and they plan to do so through reels uh, and through different other mechanisms as well and also the plans to monetize uh, whatsapp for example and a few other businesses we see oculus having a massive ramp up uh, you know this is not the biggest position in my portfolio it's actually one of the smallest but it is a nice big business to bet on especially on a recovery and uh, this is not financial advice so take it with a pinch of salt but let us know what you are doing. That's what I'm doing. Bought a bit more in the dip. Let us know what you are doing. Have a great weekend. We've got lots of cool content coming in next week. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Join the FinMeUp channels in the link in the description. And have a great weekend.